how to start my channel over from the beginning, this is the video I would watch. Your niche is the number one thing you want to start off with. If you guys don't know what a niche is, the definition of a niche is basically what kind of videos you want to do and what kind of content you want to put out. For example, you have lifestyle content, gym content, beauty content, gaming, vlogging, cooking, DIY. You have to ask yourself, what is the type of content that I want to put out? When you have your niche and when you have what kind of content you want to put out, for example, I do vlogs, I do lifestyle, I do beauty, clothing hauls too. But you also want to choose something that you're passionate about and that you know that you're gonna have fun and have a good time making content for you want to watch youtube i feel like not a lot of people say this a lot of people that come up to me and say that they want to start a youtube channel or like if we're just talking about youtube a lot of them don't really watch youtube i might say you have to binge watch youtubers binge watch youtube every single day but you have to at least watch some type of youtube how do you want to be a youtuber but you're not watching any youtube and i'm talking about like actually like watch youtube watching stuff that you like if you don't like youtube and if you don't don't like watch YouTube, have your favorite YouTuber. I feel like that's like a tip nobody really talks about. Usually when you want to start YouTube, it's off of you watching YouTubers and watching YouTube and being like, oh, I want to do this. You would be surprised. A lot of people don't watch YouTube, but want to be YouTuber. Investing in quality equipment. Now, this could be making sure you have a good phone to start off with, some good lighting, but you don't have to go straight into filming off of a camera or editing on a laptop or editing on like a very, very high end editing source. You can start with your phone, but again, make sure it's still good quality still good lighting and still good sound I know a lot of youtubers now that literally have so many subscribers that still film off their phone and these new phones like the iPhone 15 y'all that camera is so good it's not even just with the iPhone 15 like any iPhone honestly if you have an iPad edit on your iPad if you don't have an iPad and you just have your phone anything you can do on an iPad you most likely can do on your phone depending on like what editing source like CapCut is a good editing source the first start of YouTube it was like this one it was like vid vivo. I'll put it in a quick screenshot. I used to use that to edit my videos when I first started YouTube and I was editing on my iPad. You don't have to start off with the best quality equipment, but you also want to still invest into making your quality look good. Like, hold on, let me show y'all. Like this right here is literally, I don't even know how much it is, y'all. This is some good lighting to start off with. You can change it to whatever you want. Hold on. It's kind of broke. We're not even gonna talk about it. There's so many of those kind of lightings on Amazon, on TikTok shop, like on Timu, and then going off your phone. And then you can go ahead and go into buying a camera, like buying a good editing software. Me talking about editing goes straight into master your editing. Okay, I wouldn't say like you have to know how to really, really edit a start YouTube channel. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like at least know how to do something. Truthfully, nobody's gonna watch a video that is raw uncut don't got nothing like no edits in it for real with just a little bit of like a little bit of cut here and there from somebody new you want to catch their attention the first five seconds of your video is the most important focus on the first five seconds and then after the first five seconds you got to focus on the first two minutes the first two minutes of my videos is where i edit the most of my content like i'll edit throughout the video too but like the first two minutes is where i really put in work and really make sure that it's very eye-catching eye engaging it keeps the audience engaged okay if somebody clicks on your video the first thing should be something that will catch your eye these intros y'all these long ass intros please don't i'm sorry but please don't everybody got the same intro and they'd be like 20 30 seconds long once they watch it one time they're not gonna watch it the next time just stop doing those long intros i have like a it's maya just like a little one two and then it goes straight into the video and then don't have your intro in the beginning of your video like you know how i do like clips i put clips together I put clips together in the put music and then I like, make it all fun and stuff. Or you could take a, like the most interesting clip from your YouTube video and put it in the beginning of your video and then add your three to five, six second intro. Like I'm telling y'all, don't go over seven seconds of an intro. You don't need no long intro. Nobody's going to watch it. Like people are going to click off. And I'm not saying everybody's going to click off. You know, you want to get a little intro made and all this, but just make sure it's not long and make sure that it's quick and simple and easy and it gets straight to the point. Titles and thumbnails. Titles and thumbnails are going to be your most important thing, especially your thumbnail. Your thumbnail has to be eye-catching and eye-engaging and it has to look good. 
please do not have all of these texts on your thumbnail with all of these different colors all of these different fonts keep it simple easy and eye engaging and look make it look good you can either do like one picture you can do three pictures four pictures do like a little collage add a little bit of text here and there make sure you can see the text say for example if this was a thumbnail right here and i added a gray text over me with no back shadow no nothing it's not gonna look good and it's not gonna it's gonna like all kind of crumple together okay this is my number one tip with titles when you're doing a title say for example if it's like realistic day in my life capitalize realistic and then do day in my life if it's like extreme room makeover huge back to school haul capitalize huge and do back to school haul. those titles make people want to click on your videos more like people don't really understand the work you got to put into youtube because a lot of people think it's just a film edit and you post it's not that it's a lot more that goes into youtube and i feel like i can make a whole five hour video on everything i know about youtube because i've been doing it for so long but like you have to really perfect your craft and engage with your audience when you do eventually gain a good audience like once you get to like a couple hundred subscribers engage comment back when they comment ask them a question in the comments ask them a question in the video be like question of the day you want people to be engaged into your content where they go and comment and you got to engage with them y'all don't notice i have a pinned comment on every single one of my videos i always ask y'all either a question or I always say something interesting to talk about because you want people to be engaged in your content you want people to ask for feedback build a community y'all want to have conversation in the comments ask them a question do this do that you just want to be engaged with your audience consistency is key i know when y'all ask y'all favorite youtuber or when y'all just see these youtube advice videos and everybody starts off with like consistency is key consistency is key that's what everybody says when i tell you consistency is key literally like if you're posting two times a week even one time a week at least People are going to be so engaged and be like, okay, she's very consistent. When I tell y'all, viewers, they love consistency. If you're consistent, you're putting the work in. I'm not even just talking about posting a video every week like as consistency. I'm talking about you as a person and as a content creator putting effort into your videos and being consistent with editing and learning how to do this, learning the algorithm, learning your viewers, learning what you want to do, learning how to edit, how to film, how to be consistent with posting. I say once a week at least. In all, when you do be consistent, it signals the YouTube algorithm, knowing that you're an active and committed creator and it's going to potentially boost your channel's visibility because the YouTube algorithm will be like, okay, this person, this YouTuber is putting out content every week okay bet i'm gonna start putting their content onto people's youtube page to see and to click on be patient a lot of y'all see y'all favorite youtubers making all of this money growing very very fast and all of this you are your own person and you need to be patient even if you post for a year straight and you still haven't like gotten where you wanted to just keep going and be consistent if this is what you really really want to do and you really have a passion for this it will pay off in the end i'm telling you i've been doing youtube for almost five years now actually hold on i'm about to see because i really don't know how much I've, how long i've been doing youtube yeah i've been doing youtube for almost five years and five years is not as long as y'all think it is because five years for me it literally feels like one year and i started taking youtube serious maybe like in my second year or my first year of doing youtube it doesn't come overnight and it doesn't doesn't come fast but if you put that work in and you really want to be a youtuber i'm telling you it will pay off you just have to be patient analyze and study your analytics when you start to you know gain viewers gain subscribers and stuff you want to analyze and study your algorithm when i say study and analyze your algorithm you have to go into your analytics on YouTube Studio and actually study. Analyze how your videos perform. You just want to study and see what videos are doing good. See what people like. Go really, really in deep into your analytics. When people stop watching your video, when people click off, like when that dip happens. Watch YouTube advice videos. Watch how to become a YouTuber. Watch what's something I wish I'd done before I started YouTube. Like watch these YouTube guru videos and study YouTube. Become Becoming a YouTuber and being a YouTuber is a craft. 
and it's not something that you just jump right into you have to know what you're doing in order to succeed you have to really put the work in and i'll make it clear on this so just study 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 if you're watching this video right now when you click off this video go to the next video and watch more videos like this okay promote your youtube if you have instagram if you have tiktok no matter how much followers you have somebody from your instagram and somebody from your tiktok is going to watch your youtube videos now if you guys don't have any social medias that's totally fine too a lot of people just have a youtube channel don't have any other social medias and it's doing like very very well but i'm saying if you do have all those other social medias promote your content put your content out there send your content to your friends you know just promote 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 I feel like a lot of people say like collaborate with other content creators and stuff but me personally i feel like do your own thing and don't collaborate until i say collaborate with with the same amount of engagement like don't collaborate with somebody that has like 100k subscribers you only have like thousand don't expect yourself to get views off of such and such and then expect it to stay don't let what nobody say get to you and don't think about what people are going to think about you because it might be talking shit about you right now but when you make it they're not going to have shit to say have fun if you're doing this for money and this is not something you really want to do it's like if you're doing it just for that like you have to really want to be a youtuber and put the work in i remember i was talking to my lash tech because she's been doing lashes for like five years now too i think i don't know how long maybe like five years we was talking how like not everybody could be a lash tech not everybody could be a youtuber like, like just because you see all these lash techs you can't just go into just doing lashes off the bat and expect yourself to just make all this money like and also so you can't just go into it just because you want to make money. You actually have to really want to do lashes and have a passion for doing lashes. Just as you have to really want to be a YouTuber, that's how I see it. Because I actually love being a YouTuber and love doing what I do. Like, not even just being a YouTuber. Like, behind the scenes, I love editing y'all, doing my thumbnails. But I'm just saying, in all, you just have to really want to do it. Like, you have to really have a passion for it. And that's anything in life. You have to have a passion for anything you want to do in life. Be creative. When I say be creative, yes, look at other YouTubers for inspiration and see what other YouTubers are doing. See what people are doing in your niche. See what, like, people are watching these days. See what people like these days. But you have to be creative and be yourself. When I started noticing a big change in my like in my viewers and how I started to really really grow was me actually like being creative and and doing my own thing if that makes sense. Storytell, take risk. If you're not trying new things when you're editing or trying new thumbnails and continue learning and stay authentic. Do not come on YouTube trying to act like this person or that person or trying to act like your favorite YouTuber. Or trying to do everything that your favorite YouTuber is doing. Or trying to stay authentic, be yourself, and do what you like. I could go on and on about tips on being a YouTuber. Advice about being a YouTuber. That's my top tips for becoming a YouTuber. Stay tuned because my mom and I are creating a course. We've been working on it for a while now. So just stay tuned because that will literally have everything we know in one course. Like when I tell y'all from my mom being my manager to me editing videos to emailing brands. Like instead of watching all of these YouTube videos, you can literally get the course. You'll be good to start off because they literally have everything you need to know about YouTube. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this YouTube advice. If you guys have any more questions, don't be afraid to put them in the comments. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all. I'm sitting in a room, there's a first time seeing a break, that a bitch you want to do with.